Moving on to exercise 2.2. Question number 1. 3 sin inverse of x equals sin inverse of 3x minus 4x cube. No, prove no. How do you prove this? What do you remember when you see this from trigonometry from class 11? What did you learn? Please watch my previous video if you don't remember. So what do you have? Sin 3x equals 3 sin x minus 4 sin cube x. You remember this? Whenever you have sin 3x, you have 3, 4, upper sin x and sin cube x. So basically what substitution can you make here? Inverse trigonometry is basically making a lot of appropriate substitutions. Correct? Huh? So in that for x I am going to substitute sin x. So what happens to the right hand side? RHS becomes sin inverse of 3 sin x minus 4 sin cube x. What is this? This is sin 3x. Correct? Huh? So sin inverse of sin 3x. So what do you see here? This is in the domain, correct? X belongs to minus 1 by 2 to 1 by 2. What is for sign? X belongs to minus 1 to 1. So you see that this is in the domain. So correct now. So sine inverse of sine theta becomes 3x. Sine inverse of sine theta equals theta provided it is in the range, correct? So what is your theta here? 3x. What is your x from this? Okay, I am going to substitute sine x to be x to be sine theta, okay? Because I already have x here. So, theta, theta and theta. So, this becomes 3 theta. Correct? So, what is my theta from here? Theta equals sin inverse of x. So, what do I have? 3 sin inverse of x. Okay? Very, very simple. So, you know that 3x minus 4x cube is sin 3x. Correct? So, in that for x when you substitute sin x, you will know that 3 sin x minus 4 sin cube x is sin 3x. So, when you make the appropriate substitution, you get sin 3 theta. Sin inverse of sin theta equals theta. Correct? You learned this in the first formulas. Please watch the first video for all the formulas. So, you get 3 theta which means 3 sin inverse of x. Okay? So, hence proof. This is equal to your LHS. So, LHS equals RHS. Okay? Question number 2, it is very similar to the previous question except for sine you have cos here. So what substitution am I going to make? x equals cos theta. You know cos 3x is equal to 4 cos cube x minus 3 cos x. So x equal cos theta pota, what will be my RHS? My RHS becomes cos inverse of 4, x I am putting cos theta. So I have cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta. So this is cos inverse of what is 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta is cos 3 theta. So you know that cos inverse of cos theta equals theta. Correct? So what do I have here? 3 theta. What is my theta from this? Theta equals cos inverse of x. So 3 cos inverse of x. This is equal to LHS. So LHS equals RHS. Okay? Question number 3. Tan inverse of 2 by 11 plus tan inverse of 7 by 24. So you have learned this formula. So you simply have to use the formula. So what is my LHS? Using the formula, I have tan inverse of 2 by 11 plus 7 by 24 divided by 1 minus 2 by 11 times 7 divided by 24. Okay. So what happens when I simplify this? Put a bracket. So I have tan inverse of when I take the LCM 2 times 24. So what will I have? 48 plus 77 in the numerator and divided by 24 into 11. What is 24 into 11? 4 ones are 4, 2 ones are 2. Again, 24. So, I have 264. So, 264. The whole divided by here I need to take the LCM again. So, what do I have? 24 into 11 into 1. So, I have 264 again minus 7 twos are 14. The whole divided by 24 into 11 which is 264. So, the denominator and the denominator gets cancelled. So, what am I left with? Tan inverse of 48 plus 77. What is 48 plus 77? 15, 1, 7 plus 4, 11. 11 plus 1, 12. So, 125 divided by 264 minus 14. So, it is 250. So, what happens when I cancel? 125 all 125 twos are 250. So, what do I have? This is tan inverse of 1 divided by 2, which is my RHS. So, LHS equals RHS, hence proved. Okay? You simply have to substitute the formula. Question number 4. I have 2 tan inverse of x. Correct? What is the formula for 2 tan inverse of x? It is 2x divided by 1 minus x square. It is tan inverse of 
2x divided by 1 minus x square tan inverse of 2x divided by 1 minus x square correct so what do i have here first let me take this particular term so i have 2 tan inverse of 1 by 2 is tan inverse of 2 times x what is my x here 1 by 2 so i have 2 times 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 divided by 1 minus x square which is 1 by 2 the whole square so what is this tan inverse of the 2 and the 2 will get cancelled so i have 1 in the numerator divided by 1 by 2 the whole square is 1 by 4 so i have 1 minus 1 by 4 so it becomes when i take the lcm 4 minus 1 divided by 4 which is 3 divided by 4 so what is this tan inverse of 4 divided by 3 when i take this to the numerator i have tan inverse of 4 by 3 this is my first term if a second term what is add panel so what do i have tan inverse of 4 by 3 plus tan inverse of 1 by 7 using this formula what do i have tan inverse of x plus y which is 4 by 3 plus 1 by 7 divided by 1 minus x y so it will be 1 minus 4 by 3 into 1 by 7 so what happens when i take the lcm i have tan inverse of lcm edita 7 4s are 28 plus 3 1s are 3 divided by 21 the whole divided by here when i take the lcm 7 3s are 21 so it becomes 21 minus 4 divided by 21 21 minus 4 divided by 21 so i can cancel the denominator and the denominator so what do i have tan inverse of numerator like 28 plus 3 which is 31 divided by 21 minus 4 which is 70 so 31 divided by 17 you see that it is equal to your rhs so this is your lhs lhs equals rhs okay hence proved hp short form Question number 5. I have tan inverse of square root of 1 plus x square. So, I need to make a substitution. In a substitution, what all relations do you know when it comes to square? 1 plus tan square theta is secant square theta. 1 plus cot square theta equals cosecant square theta. And cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. Correct? So, which of these relations can I use here? I can either use the first one or the second one. Correct? Because I have 1 plus x square. 1 plus x square it is. So, I can either take x to be tan theta or x to be cot theta. I cannot take this relation because it becomes 1 minus something. Correct? In the relation it is known. So, I take x to be tan theta. Apa theta and go. Theta will be tan inverse of x. Okay. This is my first step. What is my second step? I am going to substitute. So, what do I have? Tan inverse of square root of 1 plus x and it will be tan theta. So, it will be tan theta the whole square. So, tan square theta minus 1 which is outside the square root divided by x. What is my x? It is again tan theta. Okay. This is all inside the tan inverse. This is not whole divided by x. question So, tan inverse of square root of 1 plus tan square theta is going to be square root of secant square theta. Square root of secant square theta minus 1 divided by tan theta. So, either further I will simplify panla tan inverse of secant square theta value letter I have secant theta minus 1 divided by tan theta. So, how can I further simplify this? Secant theta I can write it as cos theta tan inverse of 1 by cos theta minus 1 divided by tan theta can be written as sin theta divided by cos theta. Correct? So, what happens when I take the LCM? This becomes tan inverse of 1 minus cos theta divided by cos theta divided by sin theta by cos theta. So, the cos theta in the denominator gets cancelled. So, what am I left with? 1 minus cos theta by sin theta. Sorry, I cancelled the sin theta. The cos theta gets cancelled. So, I have tan inverse of 1 minus cos theta divided by sin theta. So, what relations do you know? 1 minus cos theta is going to be 2 sin square theta by 2 and sin theta you can write it as 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2. You have to remember all these from your trigonometry. Okay. You should never forget your prerequisite. Tan inverse of 1 minus cos theta in a 2 sin square theta by 2. The whole divided by 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta divided by 2. So, one of the sin theta and the sin theta by 2 will get cancelled. So, in the square cancel I know. In the sin theta by 2 will get cancelled. So, I will be left with tan inverse of the 2 and the 2 also gets cancelled. So, I have sin theta by 2 divided by cos theta by 2 which is tan inverse of sin by cos is tan and what is my theta? Theta by 2. So, I have tan inverse of tan theta which is simply going to be theta divided by 2. So, what is this? Half times 
theta and what is my theta from here? I have theta to be tan inverse of x. So, this is half tan inverse of x. Okay.